Okay, in this video, we're going to introduce another uh, type of model within the oligopolistic uh, industry structure known as the prisoner's dilemma model. Now, it's a very simple model. In fact, it's probably overly simplistic, but it still gives you some kind of idea, at least of the intuition behind uh, how firms might behave, especially firms that might consider colluding. So let's just say that we have two airlines that are operating in a particular market, Sunshine Airlines at the top, Blue Sky Airlines on the left. And this matrix that we're looking at is known in economics as a payoff matrix. So let's just assume that both firms start off by colluding, and that is they keep their prices high. If they do that, what we will notice is that each firm is going to operate, right, right over here, making $3 million for Sunshine Airlines and making $3 million for Blue Sky Airlines, right? So we end up in this bottom right-hand quadrant. All right, very good. Now, let's assume that one of the airlines, Sunshine Airlines, decides that it is going to cheat, right? It's going to cheat on the agreement and it, because it is actually considering trying to make a little extra money. And by doing so, it could find itself over here because if Blue Sky Airlines continues to collude and Sunshine Airlines cheats and lowers its prices, then what's going to happen? Well, certainly we can see that that would mean that Sunshine Airlines would make $5 million and that Blue Sky would earn only $1 million. But the trouble with that is that Blue Sky knows that, right? And since Blue Sky knows that, Blue Sky is not going to be content with simply taking this matter lying down. It will also lower prices, that is, cheat on the agreement. Well, by doing so, what happens? Well, Sunshine ends up here at $2 million, and so does Blue Sky at $2 million. Well, that's kind of a problem. Why is that a problem? Well, if they had both sat still and done nothing, they would have been where they were before, at $3 million and $3 million. They actually end up at a suboptimal point of $2 million. In fact, this is sometimes known as a Nash equilibrium. It's rational for both of them to cheat even though they would both be better off if they could collude. But since they don't trust the other to maintain the agreement, they end up with the suboptimal outcome of 2 million and 2 million, that is cheating. All right, I hope that makes sense. And until next time, take care and best wishes.